Welcome back or welcome to the Heiyunsiverse. I've got a story time for you today about this art piece, so let's dive in. Doug Doug, who has a large channel here on YouTube, is not someone I personally follow because he's a gaming channel and I'm not a gamer. But someone close to me is a big fan and let me know he was taking fan art of Rosa the Otter for her 24th birthday stream this year. Rosa is the oldest sea otter living in captivity and she currently resides at Monterey Bay Aquarium. This was the fourth annual stream he was running to fundraise for her and the aquarium, so I said I was down to draw something for them to submit on my behalf since I don't have a Twitch account. This was on August 6th. At the time, I felt like I would finish way before the August 24th deadline, so I gave priority to some of my other projects. I put down my idea for Rosa's fan art right away, but didn't get to finalizing anything until the week of the deadline. That was a mistake that ultimately led to my downfall. While making this video, I went to see how early Doug Doug started taking submissions on his self-check submission page, and the earliest date I found was July 31st. So I was already a week behind the start of submissions because that's when I learned about everything, but I also let two weeks slip by after that before getting started. Not my best example of time management. I was rushing and rushing and rushing because I discovered that creating a realistic otter was a lot more complicated than I originally thought. I wanted to make sure that it would look like Rosa specifically and not just any generic sea otter, but I had clearly underestimated the complexity of otter paw pads, otter fur, etc. So I had my work cut out for me in a very limited time frame that I cornered myself into. As you can imagine, I did not finish my piece. Instead, I got it to a point where I felt it was complete enough to submit, but regretfully wasn't the final vision I had in mind. So on the day of the deadline, I sent it to my informant at 10.56 p.m. PST so that we could at least participate in the stream. The deadline was 11.59 p.m. PST, but I was exhausted and I already knew I wouldn't finish it in the next hour anyway, so I decided to just take the L and finish it over the next few days. Thank you. 
I didn't know this at the time, but it turns out there were a whopping 1,028 submissions from fans, if I saw correctly. Doug Doug's mods then managed to narrow this down to the top 101, and somehow, my incomplete piece still made it. I'm extremely grateful that it was chosen when there were so many talented artists and extremely creative ideas. I promise that if there's a birthday stream next year, I will plan properly and bring my A-game. I feel like it's not only a shame for myself to not have been able to submit my final form of this piece, but it's also kind of a slap in the face to the other people who submitted their 110%. My mom and I watched the stream for 5 hours to see the top 101 and it was a surreal moment to see my artwork pop up on Doug Doug's stream on our TV. My informant also texted me that it made them jump to see my art. All these amazing streams, truly the greatest content. Thank you. Off duty mom, Rosa relaxing at home watching Twitch chat celebrating her birthday. She's watching on like a shell laptop, <laughs> which is awesome. Oh wow, and then you actually have the Twitch layout in here. This is super meta. Courage for me. Oh, this is really good. Oh, it's a shell phone. Yeah. Man, this is really cool to put Jigsaw. Doug said at some point that there were about 22,000 people watching, which I believe he said was the most he's ever had at one time. So it's crazy to think that there were that many people viewing my art at that moment. After he went through them all, he ran a poll for a few minutes and everyone could vote for as many pieces as they wanted. There were 83,183 votes from 4,153 participants, and in the final results, my piece ended up being 60th out of 101, which is insane considering the circumstances. I finished the piece eventually, which I've titled Off Duty Mom, and I'm happy with the result. Again, it's unfortunate that I couldn't submit this because I feel it has much better impact overall now that it's finished, and obviously captures my original vision. But better luck, and better planning, next time. I don't know if anyone from the Duck Duck community or Duck Duck himself will ever see this video, but I just want to say that you're all amazing. Every year for the past four years, the Duck Duck community has contributed so much to help Monterey Bay Aquarium spoil their animals and make a difference in protecting our marine wildlife. And this year, they managed to raise $302,292.69. That's an incredible feat and I was honored to participate even a little bit in that. All the links to the art gallery, the stream, and to Monterey Bay Aquarium will be in the description box below. Let me know what you think of Off Duty Mom and let me know if you follow Doug Doug or were a part of the stream. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video and I'll catch you in the next one. As we come in for a landing, Carnia and I hope you had as much fun as we did on today's adventure. Until next launch, let's stay connected.